your host Kristen and today I'm coming at you with some envelope hats or envelope hats. How do you say it? Let's take a poll. <laughs> I mean, get my sip a cuppa today. All my fun little stickers that I have for my friend while y'all are jumping on. Knitting is my favorite sport, by the way. <laughs> um, knit does happen. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, I don't need a license to carry my 9mm. <sighs> don't talk to me while I'm counting. All the things. Oh, it says, don't trip over something that is behind you. The only true wisdom is knowing you know nothing. Welcome, everyone. Life is better when you're laughing. Good morning. I'm just reading everything that's on my cup. I was ever, every, every, everybody comes in. <laughs> Teach, love, and inspire. I'm sure all of these are backwards for you. But uh, anyway, I'm just showing you all my stickers. Well, hello and welcome to a Friday Live with Good Knit Kisses, GKK Friday Live. Those are good sayings. Yes, I agree. Um, I had several of these on my cup and then my friend Karen, uh, she is so glorious. I hate that people have the name Karen because it just stinks for people who are named Karen already. So let me just say that. And anyway, I love my Karen. <laughs> she was so thoughtful and went on a trip with her husband back in the fall. And I may have mentioned this on another video, but I had recently lost my mother and it was a month later and she and her husband were on a trip and she found a knitting and art store, which she's into art. I'm into knitting. And um, they had some fun knitting stickers and um, she bought me a ball of yarn and some fun stickers. And so I put them uh, on my uh, on my cup. So actually my daughter put them all on here and crowded them up. And my my sister makes fun of me because I've stickerified my stuff. I, I don't... My, my house never was a house that all the kids had stickers on all the things because I was really, really big on it. If you're going to put stickers on something, put them on paper or put them in a sticker book or, you know, on an art project or something like that. So we never had stickers on objects like this. I know it's weird. I don't have stickers on my car. People can actually find you easier that way. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to say hello. Hey, everyone. Before we jump in, I'm going to show you a bunch of samples today. Good morning, Lori. I see you. Welcome to our VIPs. Thank you so much, people who are members. I appreciate you guys, all of you. We've got Cheryl. She's also a member. Um, Alicia, she has been at one time. So I'm just going to say, hey, girl. Hey, love you. Um, I love seeing your little TikTok videos. I, I don't get to comment on them, but um, I'm, anyway, um, yeah, if y'all are on TikTok, let me know. And um and we'll I'll follow you or something. Um, hey, uh, let's see. We got K Casey. Hello. Those are good sayings. Good morning. Joanne's here. Welcome. Welcome. She's with Good Knit Kisses. We got 22 people on here live. Yay. This is so fun. Um, okay. So today I want to show you um, envelope hats or envelope. How do you say it? Do you like to say envelope or envelope? Um, so we have, uh, the Kitchener cast on that I showed, uh, making socks a few weeks back and, um, you can learn how to make the Kitchener, um, with the video I showed on four different looms and you can cast on for socks, but you can also catch on, cast on and make a nice hat, which has this square type of, um, top here. You could do a square, you could do a rectangle, whatever. Um, but it's going to be. Um, started this way. It's a top down type of hat. And um, yeah, so it's this really cool, smooth transition. Look at the top of this. Do you see how all your stitches like are V-shaped and they come up and they go over and they continue around? Doesn't that blow your mind? So the corners look like this. There was no seam is just a tail woven in. Um, so it starts off really weird looking. And you, if you're an anxious person, 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 you might get a little anxious doing this and go, oh my gosh, what is happening? There's all this loose yarn at the beginning, but it ends up like this. And I'm going to show you this little baby hat that I did, which is just glorious. I'm going to, let's see, flip my little brim. <laughs> Isn't this the cutest? I mean, like so cute. Little bitty pom poms. These are perfect for preemies, newbies, newbies. 
newborns, <laughs> uh, babies, you know, they're so cute. Uh, but you can make them for an adult too. This is an adult size. I can flip the brim or not. Um, this one is about 18 inches um, around and uh, about nine inches tall if I don't flip the brim. And you can choose to leave it like this or you could put some nice big pom-poms or some little sassy pom-poms. Um, you could even do um, a mohawk across the top. Now, some people have made these styles in the past and what they do is they just do a circle and then um, they close up the top by just stitching together across. Um, but the ends aren't near as nice and tailored looking as these and you might actually have like a bulky edge to it and so these just look so brilliant so let me just pull it apart so you can really see how nice that design looks look at that so nice in fact let me push that out yeah yeah it just is fantastic so um you could do like a nice long tassel maybe even as long as the hat to like to the brim part so this is what this looks like like this now let's say you're like i like that but a purse yeah just turn it upside down you got a purse add your little um hooks and in fact you could take this take this as my pattern Use my envelope hat blog that's coming out tomorrow. Joanne helped me with that. That's happening tomorrow. And you could even use our tutorial for making um, handles that you can clip on individually. You could actually just clip them on to this and have a nice little purse. You could even make a nice, uh, a nice, I keep saying the word nice, um, but you could put a lining in there and I've shown how to sew in lining. Um, you could add a little pocket into your lining or a couple of pockets or a middle pocket and make a little um, small bag. Um, so a little handbag would be fun. You could even do that for a little kid and make um, make a purse for your um, niece or nephew, I don't know, nephew, but you know, little niece or um, grandkid or whatever and do it. And you maybe even put like a row of pom-poms down below or little tassels, wouldn't that be fun? So um, this one right here is a little different. Um, of course, it's very long because I intentionally made it to fold up. Now you can see I have a two by two or it looks, it's actually a two by one rib, but when I flip it, it actually is a one by two rib. Look at that. So you could do one by one ribs too, but this one was actually made with an odd number peg. And, and we'll let you know how to do that at another time. Odd numbers, we're concentrating really mainly on making the um, uh, envelope hat, starting off with a Kitchener, making your main stitch and making your brim, brim and, and binding off properly so that it's nice and stretchy. And, um, also, the video for closing this, I actually did it on this sample. The video for closing this is coming out tomorrow. If you remember, you can see it right now. Yay! So um, you can close that up. Now, um, I finish off the tail a little different in this video because it's a super bulky yarn and you can see it really well. But if you want to finish it out, um, not from the inside, but from the outside, you can use our Kitchener's, uh, our Kitchener, the part of our sock video, I show how to close up a Kitchener. But anyway, the video tomorrow shows with a super bulky yarn. So if you had a hard time seeing it with the worsted weight yarn in our sock video, you're going to love that you can see it really, really well in this one. So yes. Oh, Cheryl says, saw the Kitchener close video already. It was awesome. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. Uh, let's see. I'm going to jump back and through. You guys have some great comments going. I'm going to see what y'all are saying. Um... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry, Alicia. Sorry. I'm just reading your thing about your dog. Um, I call them cat hats. Oh, well, uh, let's see. Yes. You, they are great for a tablet or a laptop case. Yeah. You could totally do that. Um, for sure. And, uh, I mean, you know, if you want to, you could add another pocket in here out of knitting, or you could do it with, um, you know, um, a, a cotton or muslin divider or something. Make two as gifts. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, flip upside down as a patch pocket on a sweater. You could totally do that. Yep. It would be kind of double lined because then you'd have the back of the pocket as well. Um, you could even do it on the inside of the sweater if you had a clever way to stitch that in and um, kind of hide that in some seams or something. Um, 
There you go. Great tips in here. Um, Y'all have to read the chat when they come live uh, later on for everyone. I don't want to read everything here. Um, can you do an envelope hat for a dog who doesn't mind wearing a hat? I don't know how you do an envelope hat for a dog, quite honestly, Alicia. Um, I mean, you could try it, but it doesn't like, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's conducive to opening for a dog. You'd have to really mess with it. Um, good morning, Carol. I just saw you jumping on. Welcome. Hey, Mary Lou. I see you coming in. More members. Love y'all. Let's see. Finally. Good morning, Shivari. I see you jump in. Oh, Carol just had a 4K walk. Go, Carol. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I have, oh my gosh, a 4K walk. That just wears me out looking at that. I'm not a big walker. <laughs> uh, Cheryl says, saw the kitchen. Oh, yeah, you saw that. I already read that. <laughs> we have all the videos on the blog for casting on and closing the kitchener. Uh, Joanne is reaffirming. So, yes, that'll be all on there. Um, it is a fun project. And, um, yeah, you could, oh, you have an idea. Ooh, well, Joanne, I love it. I love it. You'll just share with me your idea later. Okay, so this is the one that I did. If you want to know some details on it, we're, we're going to have another blog at another time like on like a specific pattern for um, envelope hat and sizes and all the things. Um, but for now, the blog that's coming out is directional. So you could really make anything with an envelope style. I mean, we're concentrating calling it with, a, you know, making envelope hat. But you could do it for a, um, a purse or bag or something as well. So if you want to know uh, what we use on these, if you're just curious, um, I know um, uh, Joanne has actually done a worsted weight on the Kiss Loom. And um, so that was that worked really well. And then I used... Um, the five eighths inch um, flexi loom chunky chunky um, and I used a super bulky weight yarn um, and this one is Bernat softy chunky in um, taupe soft taupe yes soft taupe uh, that's what I used on this one and it's it's 48 inches kind of like your nifty knitter 48 peg purple loom. So if you've seen those, that's, I did this size because of that. Um, I will say, um, I am a tight knitter. I did a U wrap knit. If you didn't E wrap, it would totally be fine. Um, I can kind of put this on. It's like really tight. Let me just show you, but it looks funny because I did it to where I can flip this up, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it for my size, my size. I'm like a 23 inch head. I think when I measured mine before is 23. This one is, I think I measured earlier, it's an 18. So it's kind of tight for me. So, um, and then uh, anyway, but I would flip the brim if I was going to put it on just because of the height, but it's, you do need a little bit extra height because these parts are going to stick through. Let me see if it pulls on when I do it. Yeah, so here it is. It's fine. It fits. And Joanne, you can see because we were talking about today. So I can put it on. I just, I I like it. I like a looser hat. So if you want something tight, then that works. And then these little ears kind of come out. And you could even like stitch on some cute little, you know, doggy ears or something. Like put a little white space inside or something. Doggies have white. You wouldn't really do that, would you? Or a fox. Ooh, you could do a little fox hat. Anyway, or you can keep them out like this and put in some pom-poms or whatever. They're just kind of fun. You can play with it and do something fun. Um, but yeah, um, the kids are really the ones that are going to like the envelope hats. Um, they're just really great for um, babies um, to toddlers, especially. They tend to be more popular for that. Um, adults don't do it as much. Um, here's another one that I did, and um, I also made it on the 48 peg, and it's smaller. You can see it's definitely smaller. Let me flip it. I like how this yarn feels. It's nice and supple, but you can tell the difference because I used a different size yarn. So this one is a chunky yarn or a bulky yarn. And this is super bulky weight. You see? And it's the same stitch, uh, same peg count. Um, so you can see how using a different yarn can really um, make a difference. And it's the same loom. Amazing, right? Uh, so this yarn, if you're interested, is the Soft and Sleek Chunky Low Pill Fiber. And this is in yellow. Um, 
I think it's called yellow. This, I got the wrong label. This is for my dark gray one. But um, anyway, but that's it. So, okay. Now, if you want to compare it to a standard decreased beanie, decreased crown beanie, here's one right here. So this is kind of your classic decreased crown, not the bulky crown, but see, I've got, let me puff, puff it out here. See how it's got that beautiful crown like that. Okay. And so um, you want a bit more height when you're doing the envelope hat. See how it's going to stick out. So what I was showing you earlier. So this one is the same. I did the same amount of length, I believe, in my folded brim. Hang on, let me hold it up. So it's the same. It's just that this one's a little bit taller. So I'm going to flatten out and you can see. It's a little bit taller. Not by much. Let me flip the, uh, the brim down. Ah, uh, well, I did it just hair taller, but I think I did my, um, yeah, I did my brim a little bit longer. Um, but anyway, there's that. Now, a little sneak peek. Actually, let me see your comments. I have a third one to share with you. This is a surprise. So, I can't wait to show you. Hold on a second. <laughs> I don't know why my, I don't know why my crochet project can't be straight. Please help me. Okay. So a couple things on being straight, go visit my video and make sure that you're going all the way to the end. If you need to, um, if you need to count your stitches, like how many, um, stitches you put in on your foundation row, like after you do the first row, count the number. And then every time you finish a row, count all your stitches and you're going to have to do that for a while before you really get used to it. But be sure and check that out um, to make sure that you're counting because if you, uh, if it's, it's slowly getting smaller or every so often it gets a little bit popped in and out, it may be that you're just missing a stitch every now and then. Um, you can make up for it by adding a stitch, but I would just go back and add that extra stitch back in that spot. Um, if you're make, if you're putting a border on around it, that can hide that. So if you've already finished your project, um, check out different borders that you can add to your crochet project and they don't have to be very big. You could even do just a very tiny border around, um, or slip across uh, the stitches and, um, and just really mask and hide that. Um, if you're, if you've already made like a giant project and you're like, I don't like that the edges are odd. That's a great way to fix that up. Oh, I missed someone saying, hey. Oh, no, I saw you. Okay. Sorry. My. Hey, Hugh. I see you. I see Hugh. <laughs> Cheryl says, I want to try as a pillow pet. Can make uh, as a PJ bag for young ones. Yes, that is a cute idea. I love that. Um, latest hairstyle, girl. <laughs> I got an entire video series. Like his hair style. I think it's a typo, Joanne. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? What are we talking about hairstyle? That threw me off. Okay. Um, here is my other hat. Hold on. Ready? Da, 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 da. Okay. So you've got the decreased crown, right? With all these little, like, little, it's like eight little sections, right? Eight sections and it kind of swirls, right? But what if you wanted to kind of sort of have an envelope hat a little bit, but you don't like these little corners. You want to clip the corners, right? So what I did is a hybrid between, I'm going to have my sock. I'm like, where are my socks? It's a hybrid between my sock pattern and um, the envelope hat. And so these little corners are clipped. It's very close to what um, a sock toe looks like. So this is actually inspired by, um, have you ever seen the Nordic Fair Isle hats? Like the needle knit Fair Isle hats that are Nordic style. Now they're, um, the Nordic style is about it being Fair Isle, you know, where you're working with two different colors and you're switching the colors up and you have a really pretty design of a sweater, a jumper, whatever, um, or a hat or a mitten. Um, and it has this sort of look to it. Um, 
This isn't as severe as when you're making a toe, and so I've divided this up. Um, basically, if, you, if you're just curious about it, I've divided it into fourths instead of thirds, and, um, and then the two outer fourths is what actually gets um, a short row. And so, um, yeah, so this is, this is what it looks like. I just think it's so cool. Um, yeah. Yes, Alicia, sometimes tensions can make it uneven when really tight crocheting. Absolutely, that can happen too. Make sure to check your hook size. Um, and some people are really tight in their foundation row, and then they jump up to a more comfortable uh, size of crochet hook as they move on. And so it might be that you just need to practice with what you're most comfortable with until you get really good at that one particular size. And, um, and with making your um, crochet tension even it's, and that happens in loom knitting that happens in regular knitting that happens in crochet. So the more that you do the same thing over and over and over again, you will develop a consistency to it. And there's nothing that replaces that to help you better than just doing something the same way over and over and over again. And um, you, you will naturally improve. Uh, so like some people love to make just a bunch of washcloths, but um, I would suggest doing something like a scarf or something like a much longer project. Uh, you know, something if you're gonna be watching a TV or something like that, you know, and you can do something for a long period of time. If you do a scarf, you can practice turning rows a lot and you can just keep working for a very long length. If you want, you could even turn it into an infinity scarf and connect the ends. Um, that goes with knitting, uh, loom knitting and crochet, same thing. So it's just great to practice uh, to get consistency. That's pretty much for everything. Um, how is a cow pattern or test coming along with cables? Um, Cheryl, I believe that you should have gotten that email sent to you, um, with the pattern if you want to test it. Um, yes. So I do have, um, I do have the cable cowl. I haven't connected it, but I do have, um, a sample, um, that I can show you. Good morning, Sylvanie. Is that how you say it? Good morning. Uh, anyway, so I hope that you guys liked it. What do you think about this hat style here? Any thoughts? So we have our classic decreased top of our hat, classic decreased crown. Then we have the envelope style hat that's going to come out tomorrow. And uh, the video for members is available right now on how to close that Kitchener. So it's just a Kitchener closing um, uh, Kitchener closing video and we already have a video on how to um, how to cast on on uh, four different types of looms to make this so you can really make this on any loom that you're comfortable with making on hats and you'll be making them top down instead of bottom up so this one is another one that would be top down so then you would have the option of doing two top down hats so if you're like well I like the envelope but I also like a decreased crown this is a future project so it's not out yet <laughs> <laughs> but I'm curious your thoughts. Um, you like the third one, Lori says. Awesome. Love that style. No corners. Yeah. So this one's, this was too small for my head. I did not make it in my size. Otherwise I would put it on and show you, but you can see how um, that would stick out. So if you want, I'll put this back on again. Now this, again, this one's for someone who's got a slightly smaller head than me. I, this is an 18 inch and I'm more of a 23. So when I put it on, like I said, it's not, this is not my size, but I'm cramming it on here. Um, but yeah, it looks like little ears. So if this part was like that, it's going to have more of this size, this look to it. Isn't that cool? So it's still going to have these corners here. Yeah, it's still going to have that. Um, and you could put a, a palm there. You could, could put a nice big palm at the top if you like. Um, but if you're like, I don't really like doing the decrease crown. Like if you're like, ah, I'm kind of, kind of wanting something new, this might be a neat one to do. So, um, be looking for that. We got to figure out what we're going to call it. So there is no name <laughs> for that hat style 
at the moment. <laughs> so um, anyway, if you're joining me and you're a member, um, be, please join us on our Zoom. Uh, we have our Zoom group that happens from 11 a.m. Central Standard Time to about uh, 12 or 1230. It's about an hour, hour and a half every Friday, um, unless I don't. But we do, we do it at least um, three times a month. And uh, you're welcome to join us. That's part of your um, your membership. And um, it's always, the link is always on the community, community page or when you click on, uh, when you're subscribed to YouTube and you can click on your perks and it's listed in the perks, it'll have that link in there. So be sure and check that out. It's always the same link. I haven't changed it. So um, the toe top hat, <laughs> I don't know if people want to hear toes on their head. Sock top hat. I, I just, I like the Nordic top hat almost, but then people think it's a top hat. So, I mean, it's a basic style of that, but um, I don't know. I may just have a name for that hat and then we'll just go from there. Yeah. <laughs> With the Nordic crown. Tapered seamless hat. Ooh. Tapered seamless hat. Yeah. Joanne's throwing her throwing her name hat in the ring. Her hat name in the ring. I can't talk. <laughs> ah. Okay, so Lori, Alicia, and Cheryl all like that style. Who else? Who else? What do you think? So I'm gonna let's do it again. We got hat style number one. This is the decreased crown. This is classic. You see this all the time. Looks great. It's not the bulky. There's also a bulky, you know, but who needs to show that? We all know what that looks like. So this is decreased crown. We're going to call that number one. Hat number two is the envelope hat. It's a square top. Square top. And then we have our clipped corners. So this was number two. And then we have three, which is our um, tailored I gotta, I gotta have something that I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna have to say this name over and over and over because I gotta start looking at it. Cut corners hat. Hey, we know how to cut corners. <laughs> hey, I kind of like it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, I want to see. I need to research and see if the Nordic style like hat is. Um, I know it's a thing for Fair Isle, but like if there's a special name for that, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you are a um, a member, please join me on the on the next hour where we go on Zoom. It's been a pleasure to see you. Um, I'm gonna sign off and go uh, do some other stuff and work on some projects uh, in the making. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me again today. A good knit kisses. Have a great day. Happy knitting and crochet, everyone. Bye. Boop. <laughs>